Derek Young and Matt Hall from inside of Bill Snyder Family Stadium for the first time in a while. Spring Showcase just wrapped up. Derek, a very different event this year. No spring game, spring showcase. Talk me through your thoughts on what this was like, the event in general, and just what you can share about that. It was probably, I mean, it's not a hyped up event like you see other places, so it wasn't one that was really heavily attended, but it was probably more of enlightening than what we've seen the last two years under head coach Bill Snyder. Chris Kleiman uh, had a practice today and we probably got a pretty good indication of who's with the ones right yep. now, who's with the twos right now. And even with the the injuries that they had, I think that, that we probably learned more today than we did in the last, past couple spring games. I think so too. I think the players really liked it. You watch the videos up on the YouTube page already on our site. They were all uh, pretty much a consensus. They liked this because of the things you said. It was a more real feel of a practice, that kind of thing. You got to see really the ones, twos, that kind of stuff today. Give me a few names that stood out to you, either because of where they were position-wise, depth chart-wise, or just how they played. Uh, I would say the offensive line in general, I thought Josh Rivas was pretty good today. He did have a rep where he got manhandled pretty well by Joe Davies. But Unfortunately, not... <laughs> the only one I watched, too. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I thought he was pretty good today. And Tyler Mitchell had really good things to say about him and the way he's played this spring. And no surprise, it looks like the two new stars in the offensive line will be Rivas and Kaltmeyer, at least by all indications that we received today. Uh, I don't think he's with the quite with the first group yet. I think they're easing him back in kind of slowly, but Malik Knowles had a pretty good day, I mm -hmm. thought. And and there's a lot of good receivers on his team. You know, we know Isaiah Zuber can play. Hunter Ryzen is probably their best route runner. But I think Malik Knowles is probably the most gifted, the most naturally talented, and that was kind of on display today, although Wyking Gill had the long touchdown and not, not Malik Knowles. Uh, just I thought some position, uh, I don't know if they're – permanent you know, changes, but we heard DJ Render is playing safety. Right. Uh, we heard Marcus Hayes, he played safety in New Mexico a uh, year ago. He probably will have to sit out a year. We don't know about what his waiver looks like, but Marcus Hayes was playing corner today, and so was uh, DJ Render was playing corner, and so was Walter Neal and Lance Robinson. It's probably for more for depth purposes. Uh, Walter Neal even told me that they already told him he's the starting nickel. They haven't played corner, so if yeah. they need him, he's able to do that. One for me would have been Sammy Wheeler. We already knew about this. I think you were the first to tell us he was playing tight end, but he worked with the one some today. Maybe have a shot to be the number two tight end on this team. We'll see how it goes. But, Derek, the spring's over now. It comes pretty fast. It's all over. Next is real football. What kind of things does this program need to work on in the offseason until – you know, fall camp arrives, have a chance to be really competitive in Chris Kleiman's first season. That would be to continue to build depth on this team because that's probably what they're lacking the most. What I'm, it's probably what concerns me the most, especially at running back, even at tight end. Even if you bring in Sammy Wheeler, do, do you have enough guys you can count on? I, I don't know if they know that or believe that yet. I feel pretty well, about, good, pretty good about the offensive line, definitely good about the wide receivers. A quarterback, if you recruit one or two in 2020, you're probably set. But in terms of if they need anything else between yeah. now and the fall, I think tight end makes sense. But the most I think is running back, and I would be surprised. I would be surprised if they didn't add another running back transfer before it's all said and done. On the defensive side of the ball, they probably need linebacker help. It might be a little too late to add that, so they'll probably have to get the reinforcements of the 2020. But across the board, they need better depth. Right. That'll wrap it up. Wraps up spring football, too. For Derek Young, I'm Matt Hall. Grant Flanders behind the camera. We'll have lots of fun this offseason for you guys to follow at KSO. Tell your friends. Tell your friends.